video we are going to explain about project titled blood cell types classification using cnn the project centers around using a cnn algorithm to classify the different type of white blood cells the research utilizes the bccd blood cell dataset which consists of images for wbc classification the dataset is divided into two parts that is master and master 2 with the latter specifically tailored for WBC subtype classification. The project offers insight into dataset, WBC subtypes and proposed CNN based approach to accurately classify the WC subtypes. The main objective of this project is to create a CNN algorithm that can effectively categorize different subtypes of white blood cells such as eosinophil, monocyte, neutrophil, lymphocyte. To accomplish this, the study utilizes the BCCD blood cell dataset to train a reliable model that can accurately differentiate between various WC subtypes. The primary objective is to enhance the precision and effectiveness of WBC subtype classification, which can have valuable applications in medical diagnostics and contribute to our knowledge of different blood cell types. Certainly, here are the additional of BCCD dataset. These are the basic requirements that are needed to fulfill this project. That is operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 4 GB and above, hard disk of 20 GB and above, software requirement, Python IDEL with version of 3.7. These are the modules designed to implement this project. First one is BCCD dataset. The BCCD blood cell dataset used in this project contains the images of blood cells including white blood cells. The dataset is divided into two parts that is master dataset and master 2 dataset. The master dataset is designed for WBC image classification with bounding boxes providing the additional information about the location of WBCs in the images. On the other hand, the master 2 dataset is specifically tailored for classifying the WC subtypes. It focuses on accurately identifying and categorizing the WC subtypes. And the second module is of pre-processed dataset. In this module, the BCCD dataset is pre-processed to prepare it for training the CNN algorithm. The pre-processing step involves tasks such as data cleaning, resizing and normalization. Since the dataset contains the images with bounding boxes, additional steps may be involved to extract the individual WC images and their corresponding subtypes. This processing ensures that the dataset is appropriately formatted and optimized it for training the CNN model. The third module is our run CNN algorithm. In this module, the CNN algorithm is implemented to train a model on the pre-processed BCCD dataset. The CNN architecture typically comprises convolutional layers, pooling layers and fully connected layers. During the training process, the model learns to extract the relevant features from the input images and make the predictions on the WBC types. The CNN algorithm employs a technique such as forward propagation and backward propagation with gradient descent to optimize the model weights and improve its accuracy. And the fourth module is CNN accuracy and loss graph. Throughout the training phase, the CNN algorithm computes accuracy and loss values for each epoch representing the model's performance and reduction in error over time. These values are plotted on a graph to visualize the learning progress of the CNN model. The accuracy graph illustrates how well the model is classifying WBC subtypes, while the loss graph indicates the decrease in error during the training. Monitoring these graphs helps to assess the convergence and performance of CNN model and allows for any necessary adjustments. And the fifth module is Upload Test Image and Classify the WC Subtype. In this module, users can upload the test images containing the WBCs to classify their subtypes using the Trinet CNN model. The uploaded image is processed by CNN algorithm which extracts the relevant features and predicts the subtype of the WBC present. The classification result is then displayed indicating the predicted subtype of the WBC. The execution of this project 
run the project, double click on run.bat file to get this to get this screen. In this screen, click on upload BCCD dataset button and select the BCCD dataset and select the folder. In this screen and selecting this BCCD dataset, the dataset is loaded. And now click on pre-process dataset button to read all the images and then resize all the images which can be accepted by CNN algorithm and then identify the total number of different classes in the dataset which can be used to train the CNN algorithm. In this screen, the dataset contains of 9957 images of four different classes. Here, the total images found in SNO file is 2497 and the same way of monocyte, lymphocyte and neutrophile too. And then click on run CNN algorithm button to generate the CNN algorithm by using this dataset and then calculate the CNN prediction accuracy on this dataset. Here in this screen we can see the CNN model is generated with an prediction accuracy of 96.78 and we can see the console console in this screen we can see we have created CNN with multiple layers at each layer image will get filtered for feature extraction and for each filtration application will use different image sizes such as first layer image size was 62 cross 62 and then 31 cross 31 and goes on and now model is the way generated and now click on CNN accuracy and loss graph to get this graph in this graph x axis represents the epochs and y axis represents the accuracy or loss values and to build the cnn we took the 12 epochs at each epoch cnn accuracy get increased and loss value get decreased which means at each layer cnn model get better and better And now click on upload test image and classify WBC subtype. In this, I am selecting the 6 the JPEG file and select one. Here in this screen, we can see that uploaded image is classified as monocyte. In this way, we can upload other images and we can identify the WBC subtypes. Finally, I conclude this study successfully achieved the accurate classification of white blood cell subtypes using CNN based algorithm by leveraging the BCCD blood cell dataset. The developed model demonstrates the effective discrimination between WBC subtypes such as eosinophil, lymphocyte, monocyte, and neutrophil. The result highlight the potential of CNN algorithm in improving the classification of WBC subtypes which can have the significant implications in medical diagnosis and furthering our understanding of blood cell characteristics. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.